Good morning. Thanks for starting your day with Denver 7 News. I'm Molly Hendrickson and I'm Brian Sanders. Here are your top stories this morning. President Biden will lay out a new strategy to stop COVID-19 from spreading. He'll address the country at three this afternoon with a new plan that will likely include vaccine mandates and more testing for schools and workplaces. The plan will also focus on booster shots, improving care for people with COVID-19 and ways to improve the economy. Unemployment numbers come out later this morning, and it will be the last set of data with people getting pandemic benefits. Job openings are at a record high. The Labor Department says there were nearly 3 million, 11 million rather, openings on the last day of July. People are also quitting their jobs in record numbers. The quit rate in July was 2.7 percent, tying with June and April 2021 for the highest on record. We are just a few weeks away from making snow at Loveland Ski Area. Crews were testing out the snow guns yesterday. It usually takes about two weeks of snow making before the resort can open. And this year it may take even longer because of the hot temperatures. Loveland hopes to open sometime between late October and early November. Here's meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo with your Denver 7 forecast. Yeah, those overnight lows in the high country really do need to get down into the 20s in order for that to work. And not today, not tomorrow. It's going to be extremely hot. We're near 60 right now, very mild early this morning. We've got some near record highs, though, in store this afternoon. By 12 o'clock, near 90. Now, the record high today is 94. We're calling for about 95 in Denver. So there's a pretty good chance we're going to tie, if not break the record. Uh, some near triple-digit heat near Pueblo, La Junta, Lamar more 80s than 70s in the mountains. It is hot and dry statewide and also unfortunately pretty hazy. Record breaking temperatures possible again tomorrow. We could see a few isolated storms though this weekend. 